right <clears throat> Morning, we have seen the block diagram of optical communication system. Next, we have seen digital block diagram of optical communication system. Then we compared its advantages with a conventional communication system as well as microwave communication system. And then we discussed on ray theory, which included meridional rays and skewers. Now, let me say something about some properties of light. Now, if we consider two different media separated by a boundary, if we consider two different media medium one and medium two separated by a boundary such that let the refractive index of medium one is n1 and the refractive index of medium two is n2 which indirectly means medium one is related to core medium two is related to cladding if a ray is incident on medium one for example consider this figure this is medium one okay and this is medium 2. I am separating with a boundary here. See, this is the boundary. This is the boundary. Okay. The upper part is medium 1. The lower part is medium 2. Here, refractive index is N2. Here, refractive index is N1. Now, suppose a ray is incident a ray is incident on medium one say at an angle of pi one this ray is incident ray now if the same ray gets back into the same medium then it is called reflected wave. Now here the angle is say pi 2. This pi 1 is angle of incidence, pi 2 is angle of reflection. If pi 1 is always equal to, I repeat, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. That's what I have written here. Pi 1 is equal to Pi 2. This phenomenon is called law of reflection. L-A-W. Law of reflection. I repeat, consider two different media, medium 1 and medium 2. If the ray is incident on medium 1 and if it gets reflected back into the same medium the angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection and this property is called as and this property is called as law of reflection I once again repeat, consider two different media, medium one and medium two, separated by a boundary. When a ray is incident on medium one with an angle of incidence pi one, and if the same ray gets reflected back into the same medium, 
with an angle of refraction phi 2 then angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection that is angle of phi 1 is equal to angle of phi 2 this property is called as law of reflection now suppose the wave is incident in medium 1 but the wave is incident on medium 1 but it is bent into some another medium it didn't come back into the same medium it was bent and it came into another medium this property is called as refraction i repeat if the wave is incident and get back into the same medium it is called as reflection if the wave is incident into one medium and it gets bent back into another medium then that property is called as refraction i hope you understood this now i am going to explain you the concept of total internal reflection and critical angle now let us consider the following figure Suppose this is medium 1, this is medium 2. Now, general property is when a light ray is incident onto a boundary, it will get refracted. It will get refracted. It will get bent into, bent into some other medium. Let us say this is phi 1 now i am further increasing the angle of incidence see this is angle of incidence this is also angle of incidence i am increasing it to a particular point then what happens again it will start bending now the bending will be closer to the boundary which you have drawn here again if i further increase the angle of incidence there will be a point at which at which the ray will bend and touch the surface such that the angle of refraction 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 is 90 degrees i repeat if you further increase the angle of incidence there will be a point at which your refracted ray will be parallel to surface that means it will make angle of 90 degrees here the angle of refraction will be 90 degrees that particular angle is now called as critical angle the critical angle is defined as an angle at which angle of refraction is 90 degrees. I once again repeat the phenomena. See, this is medium 1, this is medium 2. When a ray is incident on medium 2, the ray will bend. The ray will bend. Next bending means here it is called as refraction okay again if i further increase the angle of incidence again the ray will bend this time the ray will be closer to your boundary if i further increase the incidence angle there will be a point when your refracted ray will be parallel to the surface making an angle of 90 degrees the angle at which the refracted ray makes 90 degrees angle is called as critical angle or you can also say like this the angle at which 
refracted ray is parallel to surface of the boundary is called as critical angle now i want to say the phenomena of total internal reflection now we know that optical fiber consists of three things core cladding core cladding interface the refractive index of core is n1 refractive index of cladding is n2 and the condition is n1 should always be greater than n2 okay the refractive index of core shall always be greater than refractive index of cladding now we have sent a ray through core okay such that refractive index of core is greater than refractive index of cladding and the condition in the, here is the angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle i repeat the angle of incidence theta i should be greater than critical angle theta c then only total internal reflection takes place i repeat when a light ray is passed through core of optical fiber such that n1 is greater than n2 and angle of incidence is greater than critical angle then total internal reflection takes place in an optical fiber i hope you understood this phenomena now let me explain you what is acceptance angle and what is numerical aperture for that purpose we need to consider the following figure see the dotted line the dotted line this dotted line indicates boundary or the axis of optical fiber what does it contain optical fiber this is core this is cladding this is core again this is cladding okay here reflected rays means total internal reflection is taking place there okay now the refractive index of core is n1 refractive index of cladding is n2 the condition is always n1 should be greater than n2 only now see here a ray has incident okay you have passed a ray it has incident on the fiber axis now this theta not is there na the theta not is called angle of incidence now i repeat theta not is called angle of incidence since it is coming from outside let us think that outside medium is free space medium hence we wrote it as theta not now the ray has incident on core at an angle of incidence greater than critical angle the theta mentioned inside is critical angle if it is greater than critical angle then it will start reflecting back like this like this like this okay now this process is called total internal reflection it takes place when angle of incidence is greater than critical angle now what about this refracted if the rays are having angle of incidence less than critical angle then they will get refracted and they will come out of the optical fiber i repeat the rays which have angle of incidence less than critical angle will refract will refract means will go into the cladding and then come out of the fiber those rays will not undergo total internal reflection now i need to say what is 
acceptance angle the angle that takes place when theta i is greater than theta c is called as acceptance angle or you can also say the angle at which the light is accepted into the core of optical fiber is called as maximum acceptance angle now according to snell's law we can write generally it is n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 where theta 1 is angle of incidence theta 2 is angle of refraction now here instead of n1 i will take n not outside medium this is n not okay angle of incidence is sin theta not that i am writing it as theta max okay you can see it here n sin theta max here theta max is nothing but theta not acceptance angle that is equal to n1 sin theta c where the ray is moving inside the core what is the refractive index there n1 okay when does total internal reflection take place at an angle greater than critical angle minimum he has taken it as critical angle sin theta c where theta c is nothing but 90 degrees minus theta naught now that can be written as root of n1 square minus n2 square where this root of n1 square minus n2 square is called as numerical aperture root of n1 square minus n2 square is called as numerical aperture okay hence formula for numerical aperture is sin theta a is equal to n a that is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square this can also be written as n1 into root 2 delta here n1 is refractive index of core n2 is refractive index of cladding and del is relative refractive index where the value of del can be written as n1 minus n2 by n1 Is my voice audible, ma? Yes, sir. Yeah, please kindly log in once again. The session is closing, ma. I'll not continue more than 10 minutes, okay? Once again, please kindly log in. Okay, sir.